how do you birth vision comes from God himself. God has, I believe that God has given each one of us purpose. And um, none of us is here by accident. And you ask that if somebody is struggling to find what their vision is, how do they identify it? Many people ask that question. In fact, the Dominican generation, we have a program called the School of Purpose. And it was really from that place of saying, you know, you, you're telling an abused girl to, that there is purpose to life. How do you even find purpose? If, you know, everyone is still fig trying to figure out what their purpose is. For me, um, it came from my personal pain, my personal life story as a survivor of sexual abuse and child marriage. And that is what God used to inspire the vision for the remnant generation. And, but beyond just have that personal life experience, of course I'm a survivor, of course I've been through this, and I am wanting to help as many girls come through and be restored and receive healing like God has done for me. Uh, it, it comes from just wanting to do that and then asking yourself how do I make that vision happen or even take it further because not many all the survivors are doing the same thing many people have gone through so much and yet that has not necessarily transitioned into vision or purpose for their lives mm -hmm. um, so I'm reminded of that scripture you know in, in Genesis when God created man there is a command that he gave and he said to man be fruitful multiply have dominion and subdue the earth. Mm -hmm. And when I think vision, I think through those stages. And that is how we've been able to grow the vision of the remnant generation, is what step one, be fruitful. So you realize that from the level of fruitfulness, um, there is no fruit without seed. So that means that God has interested each one of us with seed, yeah? And as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest time shall always remain so there is seed in each one of us seed in you know in 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 form of gifts abilities uh, you know unique talents unique giftings life experiences um you know even special needs like i mean that god has given in each one of us there is seed and his expectation is that that seed is going to bear fruit like once once a seed the bible says i think is in somewhere in john i think john 12 24 if i have quoted wrongly please put the right one on the time of editing i think it says that unless a seed falls to the ground and dies mm -hmm. it abides but alone mm -hmm. okay it remains it is there but alone it doesn't bear fruit and then so it only multiplies if it is it falls to the ground and dies and it's able to grow into something powerful so our aspirations and life experiences and unique giftings are not going to bear vision that is going to impact the world unless it falls to the ground and dies. Then the other level to that is you multiply yourself. You realize that for, for you to be able to, to see vision, you know, growing and, and, and um, understanding that there is purpose to you, there has to be multiplication increase. God is a God of increase. He takes us from glory to glory. So multiplication comes in form of, you know, uh, multiplying the numbers, growing from just being one person, me and my husband in a small corner. It started actually with me in my small room with nine girls and then realizing, okay, you know, if you're going to have more influence, you can't keep in a small room, you're going to have to create more space and then daring to go out and talk to people fundraising you know like friend raising and you multiply the vision and then bring other people on board and create possibilities for others to participate and then they are therefore multiply the numbers of people you're impacting multiply your influence and then have dominion so in the thing where you have established ground god expects us to have dominion whether it is in business whether it is in ministry be great at what you're doing um there is a, a, a poem i think I, it's, I, I think it's a poem where i'm saying by one lady i think i remember one name william i'm so terrible at remembering names i should do better at that but i think she wrote and said you know the world does not benefit from you playing small you know um don't be afraid to let your light shine the bible says no man lights a candle and puts it under a basket but let your light so shine that the world will see it and glorify your father in heaven so we basically having dominion is like get to master that there's the art of mastery to master what you are doing and then do it well.
What an amazing scripture to grab onto to help fuel the process of creating vision, to think about what seeds you have already inside of you that you can plant um, to be fruitful and then to really have dominion over that particular area and be... Today we heard from a young lady here at... Um, at the organization era 92 where we're doing the recording and she was saying i am the best web designer yeah. and i just love that because she has given her whole heart to becoming the best she can be in yeah. her field um, and then um, beyond that subdue the earth so thinking about expansion beyond borders and and meeting taking what you've become an expert in um, for remnant generation it's rescuing victims of sexual abuse and violence um, and trafficked women and expanding that model globally to wherever there is a need um, and christina i know that's also been part of impact nations is is the model of um, journeys of compassion uh, the feeding programs you have, the um, water filter programs that you have, you have, you've expanded those. You you, you seek out the poorest of the poor uh, globally to expand these programs.